Hey folks, Matt Abbott here, back in Dwarf Fortress. Okay, so not a whole lot has happened. I've played maybe another 10 minutes since last time. I kind of designated an area here. I ran out of Dolomite blocks, so unfortunately, where the next, well, the, the other entrance is going to be. This is going to be probably cut back little by little here, so it won't look so cluttered up against the wall here, like I said before pushing this back a little bit. So a lot of it's dependent upon the miners getting getting their butts going here <laughs> on what they're doing. Probably doing something up here. Yeah, here we go. Doing this stuff further up. But yeah, once that's this is this side's done. Oh, this is so wonderful. I can't wait. Alright, so what else do I need to do here? Hmm Let's deconstruct this corner just so it's done. Oh, and I do have some cage traps being put in temporarily. I'll probably end up moving them or something at some point. Um, the miners are also going to take a very long time to get to this, but the the well is all set. So I'm just hoping I don't uh, run into a problem for the for this particular winter because they probably won't get to it. For a little while. Um, I don't know why I have the floodgate closed. I should actually have it open so the water goes in. And I've been giving it some thought. I'm trying to think of things I'm going to do with this fortress eventually. And one idea I have is I might be. Um, I don't know if it's even possible to do, but I read a little bit about it. I think there's a way if you can contaminate your your water supply with vampire blood. You can turn everyone into vampires. And I'm sort of thinking along those lines. Uh, I don't know how difficult that's going to be. <laughs> I need to have something to go for eventually in this fortress. So vampire idea, that's one. But I'm going to do other ideas too. I don't know what, what they'll be, but I'll think of some other things. Um, what they'll be is anyone's guess. So let's chop down a few more trees here. I'm going to build another drawbridge here. Like I said I was going to do. Well, honestly, nah, that's not really a big priority. Getting this done is the priority. The masons are kind of bogged down with this. And we just need a lot of freaking stones. I think that's really what it is at this point to get going on building this. Let's get this thing going. Though, this is a huge security risk right now. So hopefully they'll do that first because I think they will. And one thing I did notice is some goblin blood in the water here, and things have been pathing through this area, including my people, which I really hate. I hate when it does that. It almost seems to be like on the edge of every every map that's got a river, though. I really hate that. Um, I think some of it, this, this item cannot, item inaccessible thing, is partly to do with that. I'm not 100 percent sure though. They must. Have, oh, they finally finished this one. That's good. But I, I think that might be it. But just just a guess. And so thankfully they'll be able to put the path down here be a little closer. But once this one's done, are they doing it? I don't know why they're not doing that, but they will soon. I'm pretty sure. So I did, I did a fishery shop here. And like I said before, the wood thing probably going to get built. It's the first official building here, the wood building. The wall will probably be right here. And probably just, it'll be like right there. That'll be the wall for it. So it's not as big as I had originally planned, but it's going to have multiple levels. Most of these buildings are going to. I'm going to have some interesting things built in the buildings too. The upper levels have stuff. Okay, good. We got rid of that. Uh... I'm thinking all the dormitories and living quarters for the majority of the dwarves that are haulers and probably the food production people will be on top of this building. But most likely like carpenters, woodcutters, and those types, they'll have their living quarters somewhere above this. And I need to come up with a room for the mason and stonework stuff and like an obviously like a metalworking place, but I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Oh migrants, migrants, migrants. Okay, so let me pause here. I was going to pause anyway and sort through these guys. And I think we're going to probably try and push towards getting some more masons to make more of the, of the blocks quicker. That's my big push. So I'm going to take a look through them. 
Okay, appears to be ten more of them. Let's unpause here also. I got two more mason shops being built. Um, we'll have them on repeat also for doing the blocks. Although, obviously, I didn't really have anyone skilled in much of anything of use in those areas. So, oh well. Um, what have we got going on here? Maybe make some more rock crafts just, just to have them. I don't really want to go too crazy with that stuff, though. So I want to go for quality rather than quantity this time around. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, what else was I going to do last time? Hmm. You know, I was going to build those nest boxes, and I thought, come on, what are you doing here? Build. Still saying need nest box, so apparently either they haven't removed them from the trade depot, or they just don't exist anymore. I don't know what the hell happened to them. They're not being counted. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't, I don't, I mean, they were in the, the finished goods thing, I think they brought them back to to the stockpile at some point they'd, they'd have to be counted somewhere right but I don't know I really don't know what to do about that so I don't it's not a big deal I mean we really got what we got six in there that's probably fine for now some point I'll work at it some more um, but that's it I think we'll pause again because really not my whole lot going on um, once they get going on these things <clears throat> should be in good shape then I really don't know where the roads are going to be, otherwise I'd have some of these guys doing road work, but I think that's architecture. Yeah, I'd have to probably start assigning some architecture tasks, too. One more thing. Yeah, I'm still working on this. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, a bit of an update. Um, this is pretty much done. I'm not, I'm not going to crack open this thing here yet until the, the guy is working on linking it to this, this lever here. So... I think he's in the process. Oh, hello. Forgotten Beast. Just as <laughs> I'm explaining this. Gigantic feathered snake, snake fly. It has a fat, bulging trunk and undulates rhythmically. Its black feathers are long and narrow, but where it's deadly blood. Huh. That's not good. So if you get any blood on you, you might get poisoned or something or worse. I don't think it has an ability to get out of where, it, where it's in. I think that's completely locked in. I'll keep an eye on him for a few seconds here to see if he makes a beeline for something that I'm not maybe not aware of. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with ultimately what I'm gonna do in this area. Oh, what is that? Oh. Just curious. Okay, giant ohm. Yeah. Um he's kinda of going towards the the stairs. I mean there's really no way in. I remember right, I thought I floored over that. Yeah, it's, there's no way in, so. <clears throat> Alright, he's just going to float around. Apparently he's flying, too. Yeah, he's flying, so he can fly, so we don't want to open up any pits into there, because he'll fly right up it. Alright, so what was I saying? Yeah, I'm waiting for them to move this freaking iron bar here. I'm going to make stairs going up and down, and it'll be all for pretty much just storage for wood. We'll get some more of that in. Um, beyond that, not much else going on. Um, used up more, most of the dolomite for this floor again. Designated more floor. That's the big push right now. Get the darn floors done and get more, more blocks. So, yeah, no one's really been idle. This is getting done. I'm kind of making the hills look a little more... Well, let's construct it and let's, let's, you know, just, let's straight. So as you see here, I'm kind of going, I'm varying this thing here a little bit. So our miners are getting closer to, to finishing this off. I did designate a lot of animals because of that last uh, migration wave. There were a lot of animals. I just decided, you know, I want to get rid of most of them that I can get rid of, aside from this dogs and cats and obviously the hens and whatnot. So... Did I on? Yeah, that is passable. I was just wondering about that. I don't know why the heck uh, those nest boxes are really like just gone. I mean, they're there, but they're not there. I just don't get it. I don't know. Um. So let's see here. Build up downstairs. Would that be X? Yes. Mm, let's 
let's make them out of those. Kind of using that saltpeter stuff for everything other than the walls, because you know it's the heck of it. Okay, so once they get that done, so we're on the second level there. That'd be all wood anyway. So different workers doing it. Doing okay on food. Check that out here a little bit. Drinks quite good. Yeah. Population 52. So we've already had siege, so I guess it doesn't matter. Because uh, we'll most likely be sieged again fairly soon anyway. Um, where are we in here? We're late autumn. So I'm expecting probably another dwarven caravan to come soon. Oh, winter upon me. So never mind. Oh, and something interesting just happened. The Minotaur Laysad Fizzins blah 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 a giant humanoid monster with the head of a bull. Yeah. Well, I only gathered that because of the frickin' Minotaur. Alright, so where are you? I see you down here. There you are in all your glory. That's the absolute bottom corner of the map too. I can't even go any lower. Uh, which probably means the mason, well, let's see, the, the miners are probably at risk the most here. Oh, well, this is just a, that's a minotaur. Uh, I don't know, I have no, no one training in the military at all here. So I'm probably just going to send them in until, I don't know, there's not much else I can do. The, the darn trade camp ain't coming, it's winter time, so, um, yeah, I mean, unless I decide to train a military at some point here. Let's get some some bows. Um, okay, so let's let them go in. And hopefully everything will work out okay. They have a better chance of getting there quicker with this, this frickin' thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap, man. You see how quickly he went? He's right on this guy. Nah, they ain't gonna make it. Um, damn. That miner's gonna get killed too. Oh, this is over. We might have to cut the frickin' our frickin' losses here. And uh, what was that bridge? He came in like a frickin' rocket ship. We got another guy out here. This guy, apparently, he, he's, we got stone below, but he's going up here to get stone. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, man, no. Yeah, and that was quick. He, he killed him real quick, like. <sighs> I'm sure he's got no, no problems with him either, right? Nothing, because he's, the guy didn't even fight back. Come on, miner, do something to him. Ah, oh, man. He's fighting back, though. Hold on. Yeah, the miniature's just tired. Oh, yeah, he, he's messing him up bad. It ain't, gonna ha it ain't gonna happen. This is way too close to the base, too. Where are our dudes? We might end up losing this guy here. It's way too long a walk for him. I don't know if anyone else is out here beside that mason. Ah, uh, we gotta pull it. I got no choice. No, it's not that one, Brainiac. It's this one here. Well, we lost two people at least. Yeah? You dead? Yep, Miner's dead. But while he's standing, the Minotaur's just standing there now. Crap. Alright, um, we're gonna end up using, losing this other one. Where is he? I know I saw him over here. Okay, the door got closed, so that's good. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's right. I was flooring over that thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let's unpause and see if he's even trying to go that. No, he just stopped dead. So he's gone. And of course, the Minotaur knows exactly where he is. My mental telepathy. I'm gonna go over here. Do, 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 do. 
Where'd he go? I already lost him. Let's see. Build a creature. Oh, he went after a, a cat. Let's follow him. He might not see that other guy. I mean, you murdered the cat there. No, he sees him. Here he goes. Give water no source. Oh, okay. So things froze up too. It's unfortunate, but... <laughs> oh, man, that miner did a lot of work. That's unfortunate. It's always a possibility there might be another miner out here. Yeah, you're not going to make it, dude. No, the Minotaur's murdered two people at least so far. I don't think he'll leave either. He'll just stay here. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's one of the original ones, too. So Micah and Aragorn. He's heading for something here. Is there a way in that I don't know about? It's not. No, okay, now he's sort of milling around here. Let's see if he sort of heads over to... Over the bridge or not. Nope. I think he's sort of lost. Oh, let's pause. There's something happened. Oh, gave birth to a boy. Okay. I was wondering about that. All right. Let's see. Military alerts. Turn that off so we can get the cancellation spam. And you guys might as well go to work here inside. Yeah, I mean, there's things for the miners to do in there anyway. So until we decide to get a military going up, this Minotaur is going to be a, a heck of a problem for us. What just happened now? The other one gave birth to it? Okay. I really want to see where this Minotaur is going. Alright. I don't understand why the water source vanished. Unless he was specifically getting water from outside the person that was trying to get water. I don't know why. We're even getting water. We got plenty of freaking drinks here. Uh, okay. So we're, I lost track of the Minotaur. Where'd he go? Mm. Okay. So he's over there. All right. So fine. Be that way. All right. Well, let's see here. Um, let's go below. Okay. So this guy, I could actually dig that out. That's why I was flooring that over because I'm going to dig into this area where there's a, well, there's a lot of water there. Um, I don't know if that'll dissipate down here though. That's why I haven't dug into it. Um, may have to make something to drain off that water because those are sevens. Now what? Three, three births. Man. All right, already. Got enough. Got enough kids. All right, so at any rate, we have plenty of stuff to do inside the walls for now. Beds, barrels, getting made. Craft workshops, fine. <clears throat> well, we'll just have to work on um, things like this, you know? We got plenty of wood in there, so. Whoops. Just make make our uh, second level for this. Wow, it's got a lot of wood inside the walls here. Oh, hold on. Okay, uh, again, the little pop-up thing screwing up my recording. So Pyro was the other one. He was the first one to die. Micah, the miner, and then the Mason, which was uh, what was that again? <laughs> I already forgot. Aragorn. Or, I don't know. One of, the, uh, it's one of them. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Alright, so it's paused right now. We're going to go down. Get, um... Get those slabs made for those. I kind of relocated these a little bit further away from the beds I do have. Uh, the, the, the workshops here. Um... Alright, yeah, so let's see here. Engraved memorial slab. 
So Aragorn and Micah. Unfortunately, it's not listing because it didn't say he discovered Pyro's body. So I can't memorialize him until I go out there and discover the body. So, hmm. Man, that's unfortunate, but okay. Um, so that'll probably be up next episode, I imagine, because I think I'm going to end the episode here pretty soon. Another birth. What was that, four in the past couple seconds here? Five? I don't know. That's a lot. Well, pause, please. Thank you. And, um, well, I'm just going to be working on, on, on doing this. Uh, I think what I'll do is pause here. Now what happened? Another one. What on earth is going on here? It's like every woman that came to to Wall Scorched was pregnant already. And they gave birth. Maybe they all had spouses here? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the moods are right now. Another one. Another one! This is freaking crazy. Is this a glitch? How many do we just have? Oh, I don't I don't believe this. This is crazy. Hold, hold on a minute. I gotta check a dwarf therapist, see how many. Wait, another one. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so we just had nine. I think we had one or two more from previously. I don't know why all of a sudden. Maybe because they're inside and they're socializing now. So apparently babies pop out three seconds after you socialize. <laughs> Needs to be some incubation period for crying out loud. Come on, that's bizarre. At any rate, um, but he's still here? I'm assuming he is, yeah. I don't think he's going to leave on his own. We're going to have to either kill him or... Maybe a caravan will show up and they'll have guards and they'll murder him or something. I don't know. I could actually close this. I think it got linked. If I'm not mistaken. And we could build something in here. But I don't know. Um. So, yeah, what was I saying? I might be ending the episode fairly soon here. Uh, what happened there? Open space. Why don't they cancel that one? Probably someone that had the a baby just now. Eh, whatever. So I guess I'll pause one more time and uh <clears throat> maybe this will be the end of this episode, I don't know yet. Or maybe I'll I'm gonna play on on my own here a little bit. And um so if something interesting happens, I'll let you know. Oh. Well, something did interesting just happen, we didn't have to pause. Um it froze up just as we were getting the water going. Oh man, I could have had that all going, man. That could have been something we we could have done. We waited too long on that, to be honest with you. Uh, all right, fine. Um, I drink fat, easy meals on repeat. I'm not sure. We we I think we needed um, barrels or something. Sort of while I was doing that, and do some more bins. The tail end of this. And here's the thing. Remember when I was saying something last time. For some reason, this stuff is not being used at all. Kaolinite. Now supposedly it's a magma safe thing, and I read up on it. It is used in a kiln, so it'll sit here being unused. You can't actually use it, I guess, in the stone crafting thing. So a lot of this redstone is just going to be unusable, unfortunately. It looks cool. I was supposed to can make blocks out of something from a kiln. I don't know. I don't know. I never tried that before. I don't really ever use a kiln. But um, yeah, I suppose I'll have these guys digging out a lot more stuff, but probably closer to the stairway, so these guys don't have to walk so freaking far here. Because you know, we need more of that dolomite. That's pretty much the only thing we have anyway going for us here. Uh, repeat one, repeat two. Why is this one not on repeat? I, sh I should have four on repeat here. Yeah, there we go. Four and repeat. Um, are you smoothing that stuff out, dude? Because you're supposed to be doing that smoothing stuff. I 
think he's still there. Interrupted by what? A minotaur. What? How'd he get in? Oh, no. No, how'd he get in? There's no way. There's no way to path in here. How'd he get in here? All right. Can that be explained to me somehow? Uh, I got no clue he pathed in. I mean, this is the end of the fortress, probably. It is. This is the end of the fortress. I mean, I can maybe get guys down here and close off, but yeah, I mean, I don't see a way. I don't know how he freaking path. He climbed over the walls, maybe. I, I don't know. I have no clue if he climbed over the walls or there was some something here that maybe we we missed. There's no ramps. Let me go up one. I thought you weren't able to climb the walls, but apparently we you're able to. Yeah, well, this just makes things suck really, really, really freaking bad. <laughs> okay. Uh Yeah, so I don't know what happened here. How'd they even all go in here? Okay, well, this might be the end of the fort, like I said. Um, there's there's no way really to hold on here. I don't think I can I can lock myself in here. I think he'll, he's a he's a building destroyer. So he'll end up breaking through all these. Someone's going to have to stay behind and raise this drawbridge from here. If I get the people below, that's the only thing I can think of it. Oh, man. Ah, oh, man, this really, really sucks. <laughs> Alright, so I guess... Um, I guess I'm going to delete the burrow stuff from the outside here. I don't know if he climbed the walls. If he climbed the walls, this game's gotten so freaking difficult. I'm going to actually go back to the old version. I don't like this. Because that means the goblins are just going to walk right over these walls whenever they damn well, they damn well please. You're going to have to have it in parks and warm environments. So your moats don't freeze. But he didn't do this until everything froze up. So what the heck is going on with that? Is there some sort of a ramp here that formed? I, I don't know. I really am confused by this. Someone can tell me where I went wrong here? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know where it went wrong. I mean, I, I, I don't know. All right. Let's think here. Okay, unpausing. I just slaughtered another one. I could just put them all into a squad and have them go out there and try and kill this thing. Or... Maybe I'll open this up. Because if I'm going to do a reclaim on this place, which I might have to do at this point, <laughs> that um, <laughs> there's no point in even having it. Oh, good. He got in the trap? Did he just fall in the trap? I think he did. Yes. Oh, I forgot he even had those. He killed a lot of freaking people, though. 
I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is really freaking horrible. I don't know how, how did Minotaur, I don't know. I got to read up about this freaking, this, this new addition here. Cause I know they were able to climb over things, but I thought if you had a constructed wall, they weren't able to, or something was something to it, but I must be wrong. Uh, I just don't know why he waited till the water froze up to, to crawl over the wall. I, I this is freaking bizarre. I don't know. Well, doors open again. Minotaur in a cage has slaughtered several people. Many. I mean, I don't see my dwarfs pathing over the wall. So I mean, I know this, but they could potentially be able to walk over them. I just don't. I just don't get it. I guess. Um, right, here we go. The tantrum, emotional shock. He's got emotional shock. Yeah, I know there's some, some like um, new things with their emotions too. Like some of the military may actually run away from some of these sorts of things because of seeing death or not being battle hardened and stuff. Yeah, everyone's going down. Their moods are going down. So, I'm ending the episode. I think we'll recover from this, but this really doesn't bode well for the base for the future here. I don't know what to do about <laughs> the outer defenses. I mean, I'm literally going to have to start. Yeah, tantrum. I knew she was going to start freaking out. Man. Maybe I'll have to abandon everything and just start building these outer walls. I don't know. I'm at a loss here for this this new addition. How this is gonna work? Oh, this is brutal. If this is the case, I mean, if that's the case, this is brutal. Yeah, a brutal new addition to Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, it's fun, but I like being able to actually get some with my forts, you know? So we have one miner probably coming over here to work on things. I, I, I mean, I could probably assign another one, which I might do off the off air. Now, someone's unconscious? Oh, maybe just fell asleep. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. What's he doing just sitting there? Maybe he got beat to hell. He's unconscious. Isn't, isn't there blood on the wall here? Yeah, that's his blood. But wait. Hold on here. Don't go anywhere. He's he's stunned and he's in pain. Oh wait. He got injured in his in his liver and his rib. False rib. Wounds. Status. Thoughts. Right false foot's broken, her liver is fractured. Maybe the um Minotaur got a hit in on her before he happened to he might that might have been who she was the Minotaur was chasing her. Yeah, I don't know. That's my only guess here. Alright, so bone chilling exciting episode ended up being quite bone chilling and bloody episode after all. So might have to do we got a lot of iron. We could go back and start making weapon traps and things of that nature. And uh, I don't know. This is freaking crazy, man. It really is uh, crazy. All right. See you next time. We'll see what the future holds for Wall Scorched.